Hello and welcome to Fluke Fridays. This is episode 13. I can't believe it's already episode 13, but welcome. Happy Friday. I hope you guys are having a good day. Let's uh, jump into it. Today we had a um, special treat. I got a new meter in the mail. Um, it is the new Fluke 393 FC. Um, it's higher um, DC voltage range, up to 1500 volts. Uh, but a little bit different form factor than the other 370 uh, series uh, industrial clamp meters from Fluke. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing. We're going to get into this and see what we think about it. <clears throat> so you can see this, you get the box, you kind of see there's two different models, an FC version and a non-FC version. FC just means it comes with the Bluetooth radio in it, non-FC if you're a government entity or you're in a country that we don't, uh, that Fluke doesn't have access uh, to have Bluetooth um, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth radios in your country, then maybe you only get the non-FC version. But um, they both cost the same, and let's jump into it. This is the box you get. So the first thing you'll notice is a nice hard, um, hard soft case, semi-hard case, whatever you want to call it. Just like the 378 FC and the uh, 377 FC, they come with this case. So they're just carrying this on, I guess. As we open it up, <clears throat> we'll see we see a similar it is the same case as the 378. You've got this little elastic band holding your meter in. Um, and you'll notice the jar, the jaws are very different, so we're going to get to that in a second. Let's open up and see what other accessories we have. Okay. So it comes with some test leads. Uh, it's not the TL175s, which is the twist leads. Wish we would have got that, but you know, it is it is a set of test leads. Um, oh, I was trying to yank that off, but I couldn't. You have to untwist this. So you can untwist this to get rid of that cone if you so choose and add alligator clips or whatever to that threaded test leads. Okay. You get a T-pack, so you get a magnet pack accessory with it, so you can attach that to the back of the meter and hang it up magnetically and you get a flexible CT the iFlex that allows you to go up to 2500 amps AC only with that accessory AC current only okay let's pull this meter out and take a look they really had that strapped in their heart again so the first thing I do when I get a thing like this, this uh, display cover, I pull it off so I can see the screen better. And let's turn it on. Okay. So, there we go. There's a little bit about it. Different views. Um, this right here, this slot, that's for attaching that magnet accessory. You just feed in this little guy through there and velcro it to itself with the magnet stuck to it and then you've got your magnet accessory going. So you can see they stuck with a bigger display which is kind of nice that allows you to see uh, two readings at once so in this case we're in voltage we're going to see volts and you're going to see we're also going to see frequency at the same time. Let's see what the backlit screen looks like. Oh very nice backlit screen still. Very good. You got your min max and you have inrush. You can see less features than some, than the uh, 378. Um, so, but you got your hold button instead of on the side. You got it on, up here. I guess that doesn't really matter. And then your flute connect button. Voltage DC. This is where uh, Fluke's really positioning this and where it should shine. This goes up to. It's rated to. 1500 volts category 3 1500 volts um, that's the first time we've seen this category rating um, on any product and you can see for AC it's saying only a thousand but for DC 1500 so 
1500 volts DC is what this thing can can handle so if you're getting into electric cars or renewable energy this might be the meter for you um, and then as you move up uh, resistance capacitance continuity all there again any of the yellow features you're gonna have to use the function key to jump over to them so if we use that function key you can see now we're in microfarads okay DC current okay again that's gonna be with the jaws um, and that will you know these jaws that's a unique design different than uh, the 378 I might get it later in the video and hold the 378 up next to it so you can see the difference in jaw design um, and then it also will do volts amps DC at the same time I need to pull out the user manual and I'll tell you guys in a little bit I would assume that you have to actually use the test leads for this and then the jaws for the the test leads for the voltage and the jaws for the current but I will verify that um, at the end of this video uh, I don't think it's like field sense on the 378 where you can do AC voltage and current at the same time just by clamping around and then last but not least you've got AC current or you can if you use the function key you can then go to the iFlex you see the iFlex little feature pop up you plug the accessory in the bottom there and then you can go up to 2500 amps again 1000 amps uh, AC and DC with the jaws um, 1500 amps or 2500 amps I should say with the flex CT so good little meter I like the backlit screen it's very nice easy to read big display um, and let me verify those other things and I'll be right back with you okay everybody um, I was able to look at the user manual as well as grab my 378 FC um, as you can see first off the jaws are very different this is the 393 FC this is the 378 FC and you can see jaws are very different these are designed to uh, hopefully be able to get you into tighter spots to get your higher DC um, readings maybe in more confined areas than maybe this one would so you see that the other thing, um, there's a couple other things I saw when reading the user manual. If you do go to this um, volt amps or DC power button, you will need to use your test leads from the bottom to get your voltage reading. And you will need to use the jaw to get your um, current reading. So you will need to do that. And you'll also, one thing to be aware of is the... Uh, flute connect button it a lot of the tools that have flute connect both the 378 um, and the 393 they do have logging capability so if you need to log single phase or single function you can log um, so any function if they if it'll display on this screen it should log two parameters otherwise it's going to log a single parameter at a time um, if that's all that's displayed so I hope this helps I think this is going to be a great tool especially for those guys um, and gals out there that are looking to need to measure higher voltage, DC voltage over a thousand volts, and they need to do it safely, this is the right tool for you. This is the first tool from Fluke that goes over a thousand volts DC. Ampro, we do have some option. Uh, I think that we have a multimeter in there that'll go over a thousand volts DC. But this is a first time from Fluke that you can measure over a thousand volts DC for what the meter is rated for. So if you are somebody that you think you would use this tool, um, we think it's going to be for somebody that's either in the electric car or the renewable energy world, maybe solar. But if you're somebody that you think would use this tool, leave a comment below. Tell us what you, what you do and tell us if you're excited about it or not. So thanks and have a great weekend. Take care.